as i shared in the church on sunday morning last week our padigar father walter sent us out to families to bless the families bless the houses and as i entered one of the places one of the homes a tiny little girl children say very embarrassing things and they speak the truth a tiny little girl said father mummy said you are coming to bless our house today so we put all the rubbish and toys under the bed and covered with bed sheet like little children so we too sometimes do the same in different ways we cover our for feelings our faults our weaknesses we feel shy we feel ashamed we don't want others to know but at least in the catholic church we have the opportunity to go and confess to a priest and get absolution which is wonderful even so my friends it would be foolish of me to say yes you have we are called to be children of light and we should not be children of darkness that is okay when you are in sunday school right but you are all at a different level but far ahead we cannot speak that way it is very different on the spectrum on the one side to be a child of light to be children of light would be like the apostles the angel has rescued them from prison and they go out and start preaching in the temple square without fear i have not reached that stage on the other end of the spectrum the children of darkness who may not care about god who are not willing they go from different things and i'm not passing moral judgment on them it's a different thing they prefer to live their life without god without caring about their families without bothering about their neighbors but i think we may be somewhere on that spectrum right somewhere i feel most of the people sitting here and i know quite a number of you would be good people struggling and saying lord i want to do good things i know what is good but i end up doing the things which i don't want to do and that is painful for us right how do we resolve this what are we going to do about it how are we going to manage this let's pause for a moment we'll take this up tomorrow tomorrow after the gospel the second part of this homily for the first part today let us remain with this lord you came to save me and you understand that although i want to do good things i end up doing things which i'm struggling to give up or for a long period of time jesus i have not done that thing but today i slipped and fell and it is painful and god understands and he loves us amen